Why does the same note played on various instruments sound so different? The note being played by each of these instruments is called A220. A is the musical pitch, and 220 refers to the frequency, 220 hertz. Even when we generate this tone with a signal generator, we just hear yet another very distinct sound. Let's open up a visual representation of what we're hearing to see if we can make some sense of this. This graph shows frequency on the x-axis and level on the y-axis. And right now we're looking at a pure 220 hertz tone from our tone generator. I'll mute the tone generator and unmute the electric guitar. Oh, look at that. Whereas we only saw a single tone on the RTA with the tone generator, the electric guitar seems to be producing energy at more frequencies than just 220 hertz. These additional frequencies are called harmonics, and there's actually a very simple pattern to them. All you need to do is take the first harmonic, or fundamental frequency, 220 hertz, and add it to itself again and again. Looking at the guitar on the RTA, we can see a few spikes of energy at these frequencies. 440 hertz, 660 hertz, 880 hertz, and so on. Can you hear these overtones in the original recording? To visualize these harmonic frequencies, let's connect this transducer to a string and resonate the string with a tone generator. The tone generator is sending a 10 hertz signal through the string. This excites the fundamental frequency, as you can see by this resonation. When I add the fundamental frequency, 10 hertz, to itself, we move up to 20 hertz, you can see that there are now two sections resonating. This area with the most motion is called an antinode, and the area with no movement is called a node. These nodes and antinodes can even be seen on a guitar if you look very closely with slow motion video. You may have even heard of playing harmonics or even pinched harmonics on a guitar. This is done by touching the string in the center to create a node where there's no motion and picking the string to create an anti-node where there will be motion. Okay, now you might be asking, what about instruments that don't have strings? And I'm very glad you asked because I just bought this, which is called a Clodney plate. I can attach this plate to the same transducer as before and generate a signal to create a resonance in the plate. In order to visualize the overtones created by this flat surface, I'll sprinkle some sand onto the surface. The sand will be scattered by the antinodes and will gather in the nodes where there is no motion. Every acoustic instrument will have its own unique harmonic character based on the density, shape, and other physical attributes. When you compare each of the instruments that we heard earlier, the frequencies all line up, but the blend of each frequency gives each instrument its unique sound or timbre. If you liked this video, hit the like button and make sure to watch the video that's on your screen right now. I'll see you there.